WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, um, uh, kind of an overcast, Delray Beach, Florida. But this is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a sea of green out here. All the U.S. indices that we track are trading the upside. All the sectors inside the S&P 500 are doing the same with the exception of the XLY out there. The Dow trading up 174 points, S&P 35, NASDAQ 100, 162, Russell 16. Semis are up 133 points. So much for that island top reversal pattern. That it formed yesterday that got negated immediately you've got the dow transports are up 108 gold's up seven bucks silver's up 27 pennies like recruit up two and a quarter natural gas basically flat but up just slightly in the 30 year treasury up a half a point print out at 121.10 let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel Market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini, upper left-hand side. What do we have? Actually, you have a new profile that formed yesterday. So Price, price pulled back and it tested that support level. That support level is 50.69. Resistance on my black background charts is 51.18. On the white background charts, I believe it's 51.28. Right now, we are trading above that resistance level at the 51.18 area. So a slight positive. I would say, I would believe that if price is going to find resistance, it's going to be around that 51.28 level. Spot Volatinix has tested and rejected the 50-day exponents moving average. When I say tested and rejected, I mean move lower and rejected that level. That is a key area. If the market is going to get back on its merry way, you need to see that spot fix below 13.84. The NQ, which came down hard yesterday, we talked about its bearish structured profile. If price was going to find support, if it was only a counter trend move, price would find support between the 17,793 and 17,924 level. That's in fact what it did yesterday. We're trading back above the top of that profile at 17,924. Its next resistance area is about 18,207. That's a green oscillator and change line that I can see on my other screen. U.S. dollar index is getting trashed. You've got uh, the uh, yen getting stronger, the euro and the uh, pound getting stronger out here. So we may be seeing a change in trend signal. We need to see two consecutive closes below 103.66. So we won't get that till tomorrow. But right now, things look like that may be what is unfolding. How is that going to impact Goldilocks? Well, gold, it has made a major bottom. We won't see those lows, lows uh, from back in February, probably for quite some time out here. Right now, we're trading out at 2150. It's above profile resistance, as is silver. Silver wants to move higher. Light free crude is running to potential resistance. That's the descending trend line out there. If we can't get a close above that, well, you got really resistance up into about the $83 level out there. Natural gas, next price target about 202 to 212 out there. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.